Welcome, everyone. Welcome to day one, 30 days of good vibes. I am opening up the space, clearing it with some Palo Santo. I love this stuff for clearing the energy. And I just want to say thank you for being a part of this. I'm so grateful you're here. And having this community over the next 30 days is going to be that space of possibility. So are you willing to open up to that? Yay, audience here. If you're joining the live, definitely say hello. But if you're joining the re, say hello too, because I also love creating this in a way that you can work this into your schedule and you can make it part of your daily ritual whenever that is for you, whenever that's comfortable for you. So I'm celebrating you and just know that in each of these days, I'm including you. I'm including people from the future who are watching this. I'm including anyone who's not live, anyone who is live, anyone who um, is is watching this in the future. So I was just clearing the space with this Palo Santo. So you can even imagine taking some of this in to clear your own space, to create a new beginning as part of this experience. That's Miss Chubby Texas. You'll probably see her in the background every once in a while and you'll probably hear her. So, um, cause she snores a lot and Hey, that's called sound healing. So um, yes, yay to opening up the space. I know some of you have been in these journeys with me before. Some of you are new to this and it's just so much fun to be able to step into the space together. So this is called 30 days of good love attracting vibes. And sometimes I'll call it just good vibes. And so I just invite you to consider anywhere where you have uh, ideas or definitions about what that's supposed to mean for you, maybe projections. Um, yeah, anywhere where you are holding on to a definition or an idea of what needs to happen, will you? begin to just let that go. So throughout this time, I'm going to be asking you questions like that, where I'll say, you know, I'll ask a question that will probably elicit some kind of energy for you. Maybe it may bring up some emotions or critics or, or it may even feel really great. And I'm going to ask you to consider destroying and uncreating that. And why would I do that? Well, oftentimes, you know, we are tied to these ideas and these definitions of who we are and how things work. And when we are locked into those, then there's nowhere else to go. So my goal as a facilitator in this space is to break down some of these known and unknown barriers so that you can actually be in a new reality, the space where you can create something greater than you ever thought before. Because if we're just functioning along the lines of, oh, this is what it's going to mean, for me to have good vibes. It's going to have to be this way. And I have to um, feel like this. I have to look like this. That means that if I feel something else, then I've done it wrong. And I'm, yeah, Macy's stuff doesn't work. Why am I here? <laughs> so it can go into an interesting cycle. So I'm inviting you to let go of all of the projections and expectations you may have around what it means to have good love attracting vibes so that you can you can start from this clear space the space of neutrality the space that is open 
So right now we'll do it again and I can use my little spiritual tool anywhere. So this is my spiritual tool if you haven't seen it before that actually helps with clearing. It's, it's, it's you know, I don't know. They're equally sophisticated, right? So, so imagining right now that you're just putting in this, this adorable little vessel all of the projections and the expectations you have around what it means to have good vibes and you're throwing them in there so throw them in there throw them in there throw them in there imagining the energy just falling into this vessel into this vessel into this vessel and then we'll just flush it away and so we'll keep doing that kind of stuff together um if you're also new to this group, know that all of the replays are just going to be in the in this group. So if, as you can see, I labeled it day one. Pretty simple. There's even a search within the group that you can use and you can go, oh, I want to go to day three. Day three. Poof. Then it'll come up. So, so that's just a little navigating. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Casey. Hi, Corey. Ah. I'm so excited. There's a couple people. I don't see your names, but I'm saying hi to you too. Um, StreamYard doesn't show me all the names, but um, yes, Ariam says that toilet bowl never loses its magic. It's so true. So anyway, so today I wanted to touch on like really what I kind of see for this space because as you arrive into this space, I want you to notice what it's like to step into being here. Is that I am very connected to you. So in this 30 days, I am connecting into our community, our, our vibes, and really following that. So when you ask questions, when you engage, even if you're watching the replay and you ask a question or make a comment, that becomes an amazing contribution to the creation of this. So, you know, it really, it really excites me. So, and, and then the more excited I get, the more like inspired I get around this stuff. So, so that you play an important role in that interaction and and the the co-creation of this experience because any of the questions that are coming up are usually other people's questions too so you've heard that before probably in a lot of different seminars but i'm going to say that again because it's true and we are practicing being in this this oneness in this collective consciousness and this is what can raise the vibration is the more we acknowledge, wow, I'm not alone. I'm in this community. Other people have struggles too. And we can say, wow, you know, what can I choose today that can raise my vibration, that can bring me into that, that place that is a higher frequency that feels joyful, playful, amused, and that really is our guide. Ultimately, the simplest guide for healing is following that energy of lightness, the things that you that light you up. And I'll give you a little caveat to that because you're also most of you are here in in the love incubator with me. Only a few of you are graduates or people who have already done a lot of work with me but most of you are in here with the love it for the love incubator and and part of that is actually also kind of noticing where there may be some inspiration or lightness towards something that may also have like a oh, to it too so anywhere where you've decided we'll do a little clearing anywhere where you decided that following the good vibes following that um is not growth or is not stepping into new spaces for you will you please destroy and uncreate that so just imagining whatever that 
whatever that question brought up in energy, and I'm going to ask it again because I don't think I asked it very clearly. But so wherever you have decided that following the good vibes or following the lightness means that there's not going to be growth for you, will you please destroy and uncreate that? So putting all of that energy in here and we just flush it away. Welcome, Leslie. Awesome. 9.30 is probably when we'll, we'll wrap up anyway. Um, so yeah, my intention is to keep these around a half an hour. Um, so really noticing that because in this, in this evolution, you are the source of your creations. You are the source of change. You're not here to have me fix you. You're not here because you're broken. You're here because you are a powerful creator and being that has her own extraordinary magic. And what keeps us from kind of feeling the good vibes are these layers of lies and stories and insecurities and fears and doubt and frustration that we just be we just think is us we think it's really who we are and it's not i can tell you it's absolutely not so in order to get into the love attraction space and we're and this is why i'm doing this for 30 days because we're going to practice we're going to practice trying on new tools new ways of being new questions to ask every single day so that you incrementally begin to see something different and and that's going to be a choice too it's going to be a choice to acknowledge the difference that you be and that's such a subtlety so for those of you who have already done week one of your incubator we talked a little bit about the subtlety of sabotage <laughs> and so if you're in the sunday superstars we're going to talk about that don't worry but the subtlety of sabotage are these ways that we hold ourselves back they're, they're sneaky ways that we um, kind of mute ourselves or dumb ourselves down or stay in the, in the sort of like the bargain brand mediocre space for good reason, usually because it's, we want to fit in. We don't want to be, we don't want to be rejected. We don't want to be judged. We don't want to be hurt. So how many of you are aware that part of the relationship stuff for you is that you are so afraid of being rejected? You're so afraid of not being accepted or seen or heard. So we're practicing being in the space of being seen, being heard, being adored exactly as you are. So this part gives us some energy shifts and some tools, but in the actual incubator, what we get to do and have is practice in seeing each other and practice in showing up even when we're not feeling that grade or we feel distracted or we have other things to do are you willing to show up in the incubator calls and show up there fully and and if you're watching this in the future and they're like well what the heck's the incubator you don't have that on your website whatever um then it's really about private coaching i would say at that point so um because that is what what is is sort of the next level so anywhere where um, we are, are like buying into these layers of lies and fears and living in our like saddled stories, then that's what actually makes us less attractive. The most gorgeous model becomes really unattractive when they're just stuck in the funk 
and the the inner drama and so my goal is to help all of us step into more of our beauty and and happiness for ourselves through these classes and so knowing this knowing that wow you know if the attraction is coming from my choices my choices for me my choices for wow what would be kind of fun for me what does feel light what i am what am i inspired to choose right now and actually starting to experience that and and try it on and and be present with it because many times we're just kind of on autopilot and we're just doing the thing we've always done and we haven't quite gone well what actually am i doing and this we're going to do some process around that and like really look at oh how do, what do i do oh wow interesting i say that i'd love to have a love relationship but you know i really don't put myself out there at all or interesting that you know i keep saying oh yeah i've done all this work but um i continue to tell myself this sad story about you know my past whatever the thing is and then i feel you know disconnected or whatever whatever it is so um yay yes practice 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 love being among all of you i love these comments such a gift to practice together it really it really is because because we get to see each other and how many times have you seen someone I was actually talking to a client about this and it was a really beautiful reflection she's she said it's interesting in her work because she sees a lot of people and and she hears their stories and they'll say hey you know um you know i really don't like this about myself or i don't like my nose or i don't like my butt or something like that and and it's it it's surprising to her she sees them and she goes oh i would have never thought of that like how many times are we we just perpetuating this thing that um no one else even no one no one's noticing anyway but what they do notice is your energy so what kind of affect do you put out and today i'm just gonna start with just doing a little exercise so a lot of the work that i will be facilitating with you comes from one of the the practices that i've been trained in called regenerating images and memory and when I do this process one on one, this is really about getting to those subconscious levels and creating transformation. Um, that regenerating images and memory looks a little different one on one than it does when when we're doing it like this. And it also looks different when we do it in our on a Zoom call, because on the Zoom call, I still will be interacting with you. So I like to call these kinds of sessions regenerating images and memory light um so i'm naming it because i i do feel that it's important to acknowledge the process itself because it is um a specific thing it's not just something like a visualization for example so um so let's let's take a moment to get comfortable in our seat and if you're just arriving Put away any distractions. Give yourself the next couple minutes. This isn't even going to be that long. To allow yourself to arrive in your body. Arrive in your body. Connect to your breath. And how do you do that? You just bring your awareness to your breath. You just bring your focus to your breath. And you're, you don't even have to change anything. You just notice the flow as it moves in and out your body. And as we do this process together, know that you cannot do this wrong. 
and you cannot do it more right. So there's no wrong or right here. And there's nothing to figure out. What we're going to do is just allow our imagination to guide us. So everyone is going to have a different experience of this. And it's absolutely perfect. Even if it feels like nothing is happening, it's perfect. So taking a moment to notice your breath. And on the next breath, just following your breath, following it like you can slide down into the space in your body, in your body and in the energy of you. And as you arrive in the energy of you, just noticing what you're experiencing. Like I said, there's no right or wrong. Like, what is it like? It may feel like a nothingness. It may feel like a tingling. It may be like an anxiety or an emotion that you can name, or it may even be like a nothingness. As you're here, arriving within the energy of you, what is it like? And as you're present with this, your imagination may begin to put it into form. So your imagination can give it color or quality. It may even have an image that pops in, or it may continue to be just like space. It may feel solid. It may feel like liquid. It may feel just like just noticing whatever you notice about the the vibration that is you right now the frequency that is you the energy that is you the you that is you noticing what it's like and as you notice the energy of you begin to be with it like you are observing it. So it may be something where you want to imagine that you're putting it out in front of you, whatever the, the way it is. And that may not even make sense. But however you want to begin to become the observer, maybe you're stepping outside of you or just looking within you, or putting it in front of you, whatever works is fine. Your imagination will guide you to even that, how that wants to happen. And as you observe the energy of you, what are those words that describe that? So what I'm observing about the energy of me right now in this moment is, so you may even speak that out loud if you're in a space that you can or speak it in your head. What I'm observing about the energy that is me right now is. And just noticing that. What I'm observing about that. What I'm observing about that. And then speaking about this as you're observing it, speaking, hmm, how it feels to notice my energy like this, how it feels to arrive here and see and sense and perceive my energy like this. Because some of you may not see things and that's okay. Just whatever you're sensing about it is this is similar or what, whatever your knowingness tells you about it. But like what it's like to notice this about my energy how that feels for me. And then noticing that feeling and noticing where you sense that feeling in your body how it feels to notice that energy. 
noticing the feeling of noticing your energy. And one more question, as you're here observing your energy, noticing the feeling, just asking what I'm aware of, like what I, what I sense this wants me to know right now, what I'm sensing this is here to provide for me. What I'm sensing this is here to show me or tell me. What I'm sensing about all this. And just noticing what arises. Hmm. What I'm sensing this is here to tell me, provide me, show me. What I'm sensing, this is here to provide me and how it feels to know this now, how it feels to know this. And then taking a moment, just notice all of this. Bringing with you as we begin to come back out of this, on the next couple of breaths, your body will begin to bring you back into your space with this observation, with this noticing, with this perceiving. And as you arrive back into the space, feel free to share. Like, what is it that you are aware of about your energy today? Keeping in mind that every day, every moment, there's going to be a different awareness. So if you come back to this exercise on a different day and time, then you will have a different experience. So I'm just curious, you know, as you're noticing that, what, what was that like for you? And this becomes not a reason to beat yourself up. This is not a reason to, to, uh make this a weapon against you um and i would say that it's there's no there's no right or wrong here so just notice what you notice this just becomes an interesting point of view and an interesting opportunity an opportunity to be present with yourself and start noticing your energy so that's really what I wanted to play with today because we'll continue to play with this and even play with, okay, well, what are the ways that I can step into to a different frequency if I want to? What are the, where, where are the times that I notice that I'm going into um, a heaviness that isn't serving me. And what is possible? Many of you may have even noticed that you arrived in your body and noticed one thing. And then as you were there observing it, it may have changed. How many of you noticed that? So, yay. Someone says confidence, light, power, peaceful, calm, happy. And so I also want to say that, you know, even having the lightness, is not a rightness. <laughs> so it's, it's, this is really just about noticing and being present with yourself. So, so yeah. Okay. So someone says tight and heavy. So just noticing that. And, you know, as we play with these tools more and more, you can explore that. And when you notice a tight and heavy, and maybe, you know, you may have had the response like, oh, well, I'd like to not feel that, um, that you could go, okay, well, where is the lightness? Is there lightness somewhere? And so all of this becomes just being willing to acknowledge you in the space that is you and um, making that happen for you. So um, 
and not making that happen, but being being present with it. And so I'm really excited for this journey together. Somebody says neutrality. Awesome. So just begin to notice this. Um, and yay. Awesome. Somebody says they're going to come watch later. Good. That's your homework. Really? Just being aware. Being aware, knowing that we get to do this each day, tuning in. And you can start even asking, like, where is, where are the good vibes for me today? What would be fun for me today? And play with that too. So thank you everyone for being here. We will see you again tomorrow, same time. Have an amazing day. Bye.